Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Christina. If you're new here, welcome. I wanted to do an unedited day in my life vlog and I had realized that <sighs> today is probably going to be as raw as it gets. Um, my grandma passed away last night. Um, she was my mom's mom. I haven't seen her since like 2014. Um, I went to visit her in Ukraine. She's in Ukraine right now. And it has been a night. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like nowadays, everybody is so accustomed to a certain type of lifestyle that does not exist on YouTube, on Instagram. You see all this like B-roll of, girls walking through their house and it's perfect and clean and it's per like beautiful and they have great relationships and what they don't see is that every single one of those shots requires so much setup like whenever i set up a shot even as simple as like making my morning coffee i will literally spend 10 minutes finding the perfect shooting spot making sure the entire table is clean that the avocados and bananas aren't sitting on the counter and things like that and so i just want to take you guys through with me on you know a day-to-day -day of my life and i had realized something the other day that i have subscribers on here that don't know me in real life and who don't follow me on instagram and don't follow me in other platforms so this is the only me that you get you know the only me that you see and i don't want somebody to have this impression of my life that it's like perfect and it's beautiful and it's always sunny <laughs> and you know like everything is always just wonderful and there is never any issues and stuff like that like i truly want you to see kind of what life is really like and today is one of those days and so today i'm just going to send you to take you with me on a very like raw unedited day in my life i've seen michelle reed one of my favorite youtubers she's done a video like this and honestly it was so oh it was so refreshing to see youtubers coming out and doing videos like these like they show their moments of their life the way that they are not filtered not not edited not a bunch of music added to make it look super spicy and super nice you know i'm gonna show you the way it is and i'm i hope you enjoy let's go it is 11 37 a.m and i am in bed right now i um asked my supervisor if i could sleep in and start work a little later today because i was up late last night with my mom trying to help with her, like travel arrangements for her like i had mentioned she's going to be going to ukraine to um so they can you know do her mom's funeral and everything unfortunately not many of us can go with her it's the ticket prices are pretty expensive um but i started work this morning and my husband brought up my work laptop so i have been literally sitting in bed and working and things like that but i really need to get up he came my husband came home from costco yesterday so i have some things to unpack but i'm going to show you what the studio looks like right now it's a big mess but like i said it's raw and unedited <laughs> also outside my dad is driving around i don't even know what he's driving some kind of tractor but it's really loud so if you hear it i'm sorry belly can you stop showing your butt to everybody on youtube that is embarrassing That is much better. This is why you can hear that noise in the videos. <laughs> My dad is on the excavator just clearing out the yard. Wanted to recommend something to you guys. So some of you have probably heard about this. There is this powder stuff called Calm. And this is so incredible. If you're one of those type of people who at night before you go to sleep, you can't seem to calm down. You have a bunch of stuff going through your head or you are just like in a very high stress environment. This stuff would have saved me when I was in college. I don't know why I just found it recently. We're still literally doing stuff on the house. I'm in the main kitchen right now. I'll show it to you in just a second. We're still doing stuff and we have like these shelves set up here with tools because we're still like adding hardware, still adding some light fixtures. We just got the light fixtures in the kitchen not too long ago. So it's still kind of a lot going on. I'll show you in just a second. My brother-in-law put these up 
on the island. We were trying to, we were th thinking to make them all the same height, or my mom was, but we decided to switch it up and have it a little bit different. So yeah, this is the main kitchen in the house where we live. So I haven't eaten breakfast yet. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm just going to grab a piece of toast, gonna grab a banana, run over to parents' kitchen and borrow their toaster. And I think I'm just gonna have like uh, toast, peanut butter, banana, and drizzle honey on top and put some chia seeds. Plot twist, I found Nutella. Now I usually don't take this uh, stuff that I didn't buy, but recently I had given them an entire bottle of Nutella just because I was leaving somewhere or I had some extra or something like that. So I guess I will use some of their Nutella now. Um, but yeah, I guess instead of peanut butter, we're gonna use Nutella. Guys, this is just, the Lord is just rewarding me today. I don't know, making my day a little easier. Public service account, public service accountant, public service announcement for um, mm -hmm. people who don't know. Eating Nutella first thing in the morning will make you feel very gross. So for those who don't know me personally, um, this like 2021 has just been the year of like the most grief probably in my entire life. I don't think there has ever been a year where we've had this many deaths in the family. Um, for those who don't know me personally, um, my little brother, Timmy, he died January 9th. He didn't wake up from his sleep and that was really, really hard on my family. And he was only 17. He was like my best friend. I love him so much and miss him every single day. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about him. And then in the month of August, my dad's brother, um, my uncle, uh, Nick, he died as well. And it honestly, it's been really tough for our family. We kind of knew, um, we knew that my grandma wasn't doing very well and we knew that she was, you know, get, she might pass away soon. Uh, my cousin was actually staying with her in Ukraine at this time. He was there with her, checking in on her every day. And so like, I'm just, praise God, honestly, I'm just so happy that she wasn't alone when she passed away. She passed away in her sleep as well. She just didn't wake up and, um, yeah, so I don't know. I feel like so I follow so many people and I I'm subscribed to a lot of people as well on YouTube about people who have lost their dad like just in the last year and stuff. And I as somebody from the side, I'm like like why don't you talk about it more, you know? Like it's not a lot of people when they go through grief, they think that when they talk about it, they're bringing down the room and that people around them are going to be like upset and um like dep like depressed or they're just gonna feel like they're all negative nancy all the time but honestly i feel like grief is something <sighs> grief is something that we need to talk more about because when you go through it the last thing you want is for people to forget the person who you lost and honestly like i don't want to say like normalized grief i like do not like that word but at the same time we need to start I don't know, being considerate of other people, you guys. And one thing I'll say is, um, I'm so sorry. It feels so good when people from the side ask us how we're doing and not even how we're doing, but whenever they take a moment and remember and they talk about the person who has passed. Like, I love when people bring, I love when people bring up Timmy or when they bring up my Uncle Nick or when they just bring him up, not in the context of like sadness and them dying and remembering their funeral, but just, ha. Um, just how they were in their life. I love like hearing stories from the side about people, you know, asking like, hey, you know, how are you guys doing? You know, after Timmy, after everything happened, like you guys, it doesn't make us feel bad. I promise. Like if you have, if you know somebody like a coworker, somebody, if you haven't experienced grief, maybe you don't know this, but like, if you know somebody who has experienced grief, it doesn't, we actually love to be asked about it. We love to be asked about the person and how, you know, we're feeling and, think about some memories of them a lot of people are so afraid because they're uncomfortable asking and they're like oh what if they're gonna start crying like first of all so what if the person starts crying it just means so much when other people remember them and even i was sitting the other day and 
one of Timmy's friends had brought up a story about Timmy that I've never heard and it was it was so it was so powerful because other people still remember him and that makes it that makes it so much like easier for us and we know that he's not forgotten and like in this case my grandma she's not forgotten my uncle Nick's not forgotten and people haven't forgotten and honestly that just that just means the world to us so if you guys can't see Bentley is just like has her has her head in my lap um It's okay, you're a good girl, you're not in trouble. Okay, well this um, vlog is all over the place. I got my coffee, it's almost like cold already um, because I was talking for like 10 minutes. <laughs> and I think it's time to go to downstairs and get to work. I'm going to show you guys my extremely cool um, aesthetic office in the basement. So just prepare yourselves, honestly. Look, you guys, jealousy is just not... <laughs> Jealousy is just not a cool thing, so please refrain from envy um, when you guys see this office, okay? All right, get ready for it. Bentley's already in her crate because I had to bring my stuff down before I brought you guys. Um, this is my office. The, actually, no correction. This is my husband's office. I haven't set mine up yet. Got my laptop. We have a state-of-the-art heater because it's Alaska and this is a basement and the heat doesn't reach it very well. Fabulous. All right. Just got to plug everything in because my husband was using the computer the other day and had to plug his laptop in. This is the view. Remember what I said about Envy, you guys. Let's just tone it down. You know, we are all on different levels. I really hope that you can sense the sarcasm, please. Like, if anybody's actually jealous of me, please DM me on Instagram. Let's chat. <laughs> There's potato. There's steak marinating. Uh, is the potato gonna peel itself? Isaiah peeled the potato? Did he tell you that? We. We don't have potato. Jeremiah, I'm looking at it right now. We don't have all the potato. Who's getting the rest of the potato? Okay. So, I guess we're just waiting for the potato. How much do I have to eat for? Sorry guys for the lighting. Um, basically, I am done with work for the day, but I need to work on my laptop. I have to post a few things to Instagram and kind of plan out my content for this week. And even though it's Tuesday, I usually do this a lot earlier, I do kind of need to get ahead on it because the algorithm don't sleep. <laughs> Hello. Um, oh, cookies. Oh. Oh, Dad's still working. It is getting dark, Bentley. Oh, do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> okay, let me go get my coat and then we'll go for a walk, okay? Let's go. No, Bentley, we're gonna go without your ball today. We're just gonna go on a walk. Come on. Walked outside and realized that this is the end of the day. This is usually when everybody walks their dogs. So I need to go and get Bentley's leash. Usually we like, we live in a kind of foresty area, 
there aren't that many houses around, but when there are dogs, I cannot control her. So let me go grab my leash. Yes, let all the no, no. dogs know no. that you're out. Honestly, great judgment on my part grabbing a leash because we barely left the driveway and um, Bentley saw a friend of hers. It's like the one dog she's not afraid of that's a lot smaller than her. Even if a dog's like the same size as her, she'll be scared of it. I don't even know why, but let me show you guys the view after we get a little further from the house. This is the viewpoint from where I'm standing on the road. So pretty. We love going out to eat to dinner during this time of day because it's like dusk and if you look over there, there's still like some sunshine out there in the corner, but it's pretty much sunset. Anyways, all the mountains are really beautifully visible, especially when the sun is out. There's like this pink aura that um, develops around the mountains. And I don't know, they said this is like an Arctic thing. Maybe one time I'll capture it if I get lucky enough. Okay, just, just turn take, it up on high. You just take care of it? Like, I don't trust myself. What's up guys, we meet again. Okay, so here is what's going on. So, um, mom is upstairs packing for Ukraine. She's leaving tonight, or like, like in the middle of the night. Um, Ivan is coming home from work. The boys are all at worship practice. My dad is still in the excavator outside. So I'm peeling potatoes, getting the potatoes that I say I didn't peel, it was actually my mom, peeling some extra potatoes. And Ivan and I are gonna finish up dinner, making dinner, because it looks like everybody's busy. So I'm gonna finish up these potatoes, make some salad, and as soon as Ivan gets home, which should be any minute now, he's gonna help with grilling the steaks. <laughs> I wonder if it's also all of you guys can be YouTube stars. Guys, follow me on my YouTube. I don't even have your YouTube channel, Jeremiah. That's insane. You gotta find it. Mira lives with us from Seattle, now Ukraine and Azad. It's a normal evening. So when you cancel these videos, you know? Hey you guys, it's 11 o'clock right now and I am so tired. I think I'm gonna go to bed and um, yeah, but thank you for hanging out with me today and I hope you guys enjoy this like raw and unfiltered vlog or unedited. If there's anything I cut out of the vlog, it's because either I was like stuttering or it wasn't important or it just would have been boring or too long to leave in but yeah just a little reminder for you guys life isn't always perfect like you see on social media and um everyone's life has difficulties everybody is going through different things no matter how perfect somebody's life might look there could be something under the surface that you would never have expected so just something to keep in mind i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm talking quiet because ivan is sleeping um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, just comment down below. Stop by. Say hi. I love hearing from you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.